Hi there, Chris here, and I have another painting video for you guys. We are going to continue our I, I look at using uh, dichromatic nail polish and applying it to our Warhammer 40k models, or any models for that matter. And so as you can see here, I have a Star Reaver from the Harlequin faction, and it has been given a basically a primer layer. Now, I just sprayed this color right on top of the bare plastic. I used gloss black. I didn't even bother with a primer. I just sprayed it, and it was basically a Krylon gloss black that I laid onto this model. Did about uh, roughly like a layer and a half onto it, just until I got a nice glossy finish onto the model that I was happy with. Of course, you know, you got to be careful not to lay too much of the paint down because, again, you don't want to obscure any of the little details anything like that and initially too when, it, when I was laying the paint down it looked pretty darn heavy on there but I could still see all the details everything like that so I knew I was okay in that regard like little face details and such I'm using a little bit of silly putty here just to mask off of the cockpit of the uh, of the driver uh, but otherwise every, everywhere else we're gonna be working on it and of course I'm using the nail polish like I did used from the previous examples of uh, you know using air nail polish through an airbrush using a little bit of the nail polish thinner to thin it out in here and I'm using a synthetic brush to uh, mix the two colors or one mix the two colors mix the uh, thinner into the uh, nail polish I'm spraying at around 20 psi and um, probably a little bit less than that uh, and of course I'm keeping my uh, brush fairly close I'm only about an inch away maybe from the surface even closer probably would have been okay as well and as you can see as I'm wor quickly working my way around the model I'm slowly building the, the color up and of course uh, I filled the cup up uh, initially about uh, yeah usually about the normal portion I you do is probably about less than half of the cup of nail polish and that was enough to pretty much do uh, all of this work here immediately and again you can see i'm just quickly laying it in and you can see uh when you are laying this stuff on now the closer you work the the less uh chance you have of getting that kind of fuzzy kind of texture that these metallics through the airbrush tend to do and so again as i mentioned like i thinned it out and then i'm spraying nice and close uh the psi is not terribly high it's around the 20 or less than 20 psi and again i just filled the cup up a second time here and i'm putting a second layer down onto the model Again, because I want to build up a nice, strong finish onto this model. Again, with this uh, this uh, color shifting paint, it's just really, really fantastic. And of course, I definitely wanted to do it on top of the glass black because that'll keep it nice and smooth and shiny. And there, you can see after two coats, you can see how nice and uh, metallic it looks. You can see how the color shifts under the light. Uh, that's not a trick of the lights. That uh, that color is shifting under the same lights. It's just regular daylight bulbs I'm using, and you can see how like you get little hints of yellows and oranges that play along with the uh, kind of the red and magenta kind of color that the main base color looks. Next, I'm going to take uh, some Pledge Future Floor Shine. I'm going to spray this through the uh, airbrush. I'm using a Patriot 105, spraying it around 20 psi. And basically, I'm just going to put this nice little sealant layer. Now, before I had done the sealant layer, I had taken my uh, a, an old T-shirt and just basically buffed the surface of the uh, of the model beforehand. So that's make sure you get all the little bumpies and little little flecks of uh, you know the material uh, off the surface. And then after that, this is after about uh, three or four layers of the um, of the gloss. Next, I'm going to use MIG Ammo's Oil Brusher. Now, this is a fantastic little uh, product here. Uh, basically, it's an oil paint, uh, but in a very, it's almost like a, a mascara kind of device. It's got this tiny little brush on it. And basically, you can just simply follow the panel lines around the model. Now, because this is an oil paint, you will have to set it aside and leave, let it uh, dry after a little while. It's not, it doesn't dry quite as quickly as acrylic paint does. But the nice thing about it is, is that if you do make any kind of boo-boos, you can quickly wipe it away. And because we, we're putting this on top of a sealant layer, we're not going to run the risk of damaging the under paint job. And as you can see here, I just very quickly with a paper towel and I kind of wipe in the direction of the uh, of the lines or you can kind of go in the opposite direction. But just in case if there was any kind of streaking, or whatever, it kind of looked like weathering or something like that. And so I, but I, once I looked at it and it was like nice and clean, I was thoroughly impressed and I was uh, really happy with this. And so I continue on doing all the panel lines and you can see after. Uh, doing just that one side you can see how the panel lines all really kind of separate and, and again with the oil paint It has kind of this matte finish and then so I finished off the rest of the vehicle And then I did uh, the little air grills on the rest of the vehicle And I just simply did that nab it on black just thinned it out and applied it into those little uh, air vents and such But that is the Harlequin Star Reaver with that dichromatic nail polish Thanks for watching and happy wargaming